Tonight on the 10, exploring the red hot housing market. High demand met with only higher price tags. It's, uh, it's a much more competitive market this year than I've seen in, in previous years. The good, the bad. And the bathroom everyone's talking about. We'll show you this open concept design that has some unique features and little privacy. The 10 on NECN starts now. Well, we've all been there. Maybe you're taking a drive in a new city or neighborhood. You pull up Zillow just to peek, you know, at what's for sale around that area. That's my doom scrolling. I spend hours on that, sitting on your home, at your home, on your couch. What else you got to do, right? So you start searching, maybe for homes around you, maybe in another city. The Zillow game never really gets old. One of the best parts about Zillow, too, you get to see it all. Homes you can't afford, homes you can't afford, the nice ones, the ugly ones. Everything is apparently on there, even the wackiest homes in the market. Yeah, speaking of wacky, you may have seen this listing. This condo in Boston's JP neighborhood was recently renovated. And as you can see, it comes with a really open concept for even the first four floor bathroom. Yes, an open concept in the bathroom. I should have seen uh, Eli in the bathroom you saw at the top of the show. We'll get to that uh, home in a, just a few minutes from now. But as shocking as that Mayo layout might be, Maybe the most shocking part about this, the price tag on this home with the toilet in the middle of the living room. The home hit the market for just under $900,000. And that's our starting point tonight. You've probably seen and heard by now that the real estate market is red hot. Tonight on the 10, we're going to look in depth on how prices got so high and when they're expected to cool off. But in order to understand all of that, we have to take a look at the current real estate climate. Of course, the pandemic has affected everything. And with so many people working from home, there's been a sudden urge for more space. Yeah, you want to get away from some of your family that's been at home this whole time, right? You need to move around. Take that, combine it with the historically low interest rates. And we have a perfect storm for a housing boom. Here's Sean Pearson, a local director of re residential sales and leasing. A combination of things happening. There are uh, people who are headed out to the suburbs uh, looking for a little more room to recreate with their families. Um, you know, this working from home has sort of given people the ability to kind of choose where they where they live. It's no longer about needing that short T ride. It's about, uh, you know, wanting a little more space for an in-home office or, uh, or, or just a little outdoor space that's private, you know, to get out and uh, take the mask off for a little while. The outdoors are in. Well, property in the Northeast, as you well know at this point, Ryan, right? They've consistently been one of the most expensive places to live in the country. Boston especially has ranked in the top 10 most expensive cities for the past several years. But recently, there's been an even larger spike in that for the city of Boston and all around New England. We actually pulled data from Massachusetts Association of Realtors and compared the prices from January 2020 to January of 2021. You like our little neighborhood here with all the different color homes. The average price of a single family home, the median price that is in the state, was just over 400,000. These are the price tags over my shoulder here. That's hovered around that price for several years before that. But in the past year, things have changed. The average price has risen by more than $60,000. And that's the median price, too. If you've looked to homes in Massachusetts, Massachusetts, you know, 467 is not going to get you much. These price tags, not the only thing going up because you take our little neighborhood and the demand is going up, which means there are fewer homes available. This past January marked the lowest number of single family homes on the market since the Mass Association started keeping records since back in 2004. If you looked at the end of January last year, um, you know, we had 9,700 homes for sale just under that. If you look at the end of January this year, we have 3,500 homes for sale just under that. So, so that's about a 64% drop in, uh, in inventory in just in one year. Yeah, fewer options means it's a seller's market. Several realtors tell us just about every home for sale is getting multiple offers and almost all sell for tens of thousands more than the listing price. And it's happening all across the country, too. But there's been one major difference in Boston. There hasn't been as many people ditching the city. We love our city, right? Steve Medeiros, the president of the Massachusetts Association of Realtors, says that the biggest increase in home sales have come in the Berkshires and the Cape and Islands. But in those locations, it's a lot of people buying vacation homes. The second home. What we haven't seen, uh, you know, yet is that mass exodus out of the city that some other cities have seen. Uh, we, you know, in talking with the uh, the president of our uh, Boston Association, he said they really haven't seen that that big push of people leaving. Uh, people have maybe decided to buy additional, you know, homes maybe in some of the vacation areas like the uh, the Cape, the Islands, the Berkshires, um, but they're keeping their places in the 
in the city so that uh, they can go back to work once things start to open up. Multiple places must be nice. Well, scenic places with plenty of space are in demand right now. New England, as you know, got plenty of that to offer. According to CoreLogic.com, there wasn't a single state in the entire country that saw home prices go down over the last year. But New England, well, we have a very special distinction. We're pricey. We're fancy here. We're home to some of the states that have seen the highest increase in home prices over the course of the last year. We know we already pay a lot. Well, now we're paying more. Check out the list here. Idaho, Montana saw the biggest increases. I guess when you start low, an increase doesn't go up there. It's actually pretty cheap to live there. But who does want to live there? You got Maine at number three. Maine has seen a 15% increase in home prices over the last year. And then look at this. Rhode Island, Vermont, and New Hampshire all kind of rounding out the top 10 at 7, 8, 9. All of them with about a 14% increase in the price of homes. Very cool. And with so many potential buyers and inventory at record low, people can be a little more willing to sacrifice some of those wants for needs. Yeah, HTV has taught me that open concept is popular. Very popular. You want the kitchen, you want the couch, you want everything in the same room together. But a condo on the market in Boston brings that, that idea of an open concept bathroom. Interesting, right? It's causing quite the debate. Let's have our Eli Rosenberg explain. This newly renovated condo in Jamaica Plain is definitely not a dump. Newly renovated kitchen, plenty of natural light, and four bedrooms and three bathrooms. I've seen a lot of things, absolutely. None quite like this though. So as soon as I came up, I didn't even see the bathroom to be honest. Realtor Robert Nichols says it's the bathroom on the first floor that's causing quite a stink. Off a first floor bedroom, this bathroom has it all. Except, of course, for any doors or walls. My first reaction was, man, this thing was built for an exhibitionist. That's the first thing that came in my head. If open concept remains all the rage, this takes the throne. A small section of frosted glass, about all that separates you. At least, you know, have the decency to hide the toilet. And that's really what it is. It's not the bathroom, it's the toilet. That's the one thing everybody struggles with. As you would expect, there's a stream of reaction to this unusual bathroom. Bathroom in the, look like the what, living room. I've never seen that before. Well, it's different. It's different. I like it. No. I don't feel close enough to anybody to do that. This property has seen a lot of movement, but so far no buyers. And with all the focus on number two, as they say in real estate, it only takes one. It only takes one, and that's what we're looking for here. We need that one special person who wants the freedom to really just get out there. Nichols says they have price adding a door and wall. It's about $2,500. How all this came to be remains a mystery. The developer who did all this work and created this bathroom, nowhere to be found. You can't ask him. What were right, we, <laughs> right. We, we don't have that information. We really don't know. So for now, the bathroom remains hoping someone flush with cash. Besides a bathroom with a view is all that it cracks up to be. Pretty different, to say the least. Eli Rosenberg, NECN. But that's not the only place out there that's kind of weird. You see, never, I've never seen anything like that, but sometimes, I don't know. There are a lot of weird listings out there. Do you think that's a bathroom? There's bath even curtains on there, so not only with the people there, they're good to see right inside. Do you think that was meant to be a bigger bathroom or just the bathroom in a living room? Because I feel like that whole room, you could have made it to Everything looked new. It looks pretty right? deliberate to me. I don't know. It looks really weird. But hey, you know, if you want to be in Jamaica Plain, and that's a great place to be. Not Maybe you have to, to start consider it. it. And you know, you, we were wondering, would this be a deal breaker? So we brought this to our friend, yeah. Sean, the realtor, right? He says probably not. I don't think it's enough to scare off a buyer, and I don't think it's discounted significantly. If anything, I think all the viral marketing has been really helpful for this particular listing. It's a nice house other than that weird thing in there. Case in point, check this out. A very ugly home in Florida. Listed for, get this, $69,000. It is in bad condition, to say the least, right? But for the realtor, uh, Philippa Maine, she came up with a clever way to appeal to buyers. She actually described in the listing this home as, quote, the worst house on the street. She's not wrong. And goes on to say, if you need a place to stage your next post-apocalyptic zombie movie, this is it. She's not wrong either. Amazingly enough, that worked. The ugly house right now is under contract. People are dying to get in homes, even if it's maybe a zombie who bought it. Wow. So by now, you're probably thinking, hey, my house looks a lot better than that house, right? So maybe I should sell. We asked Sean for his advice if you're thinking about listing your home. If you're if you're thinking about selling, that uh, it's an unbelievable time to start preparing. Uh, so right now would be the good time to start reaching out to find an agent and start to declutter and start to, um, 
you know, depersonalize your property and prepare it to get it photo ready for being listed ahead of the spring market. You don't want to be listing in, in May. You want to be getting things up in April um, at the latest uh, to make sure that you're on market in time to take advantage of the, of the buyers that are out in the marketplace. And of course, the flip side of that coin are the buyers. It is tough out there from them. Joking aside, this is a very serious, expensive, and oftentimes stressful decision people have to make when they're looking at homes. We spoke about multiple offers coming in on homes. Madeira says one house that he was selling got 11 offers. He said, do your homework. Be patient. Don't get frustrated in all this. Because keep in mind, 11 offers I mean 10 people walk away disappointed. Only one person is going to get that house. So he says if you're trying to buy your dream home, maybe it's your first home or somewhere in between, and you want to stand out from the pack, there are some things you could do. Many ways to enhance your offer. Uh, not all of them are always the best idea. Uh, it really depends on your personal situation. You know, more of a de larger down payment uh, or, or deposit with the offer. Um, you know, if you're able to pay cash versus financing, that makes a difference. If you don't have a contingency to sell your home, that can make a difference. Some people will waive home inspection. Not something that I recommend, um, but if you are the right person who maybe you're handy, maybe you've, you've got an experience in the trades and you can evaluate it for yourself, maybe that's uh, an appropriate thing.